share his thoughts a couple weeks ago. Uh, we met this couple on the beach uh, from Connecticut. He was a, a firefighter, and uh, we got talking about faith. And you know, he was Catholic growing up, and uh, he had married uh, a young lady who was Jewish, and they'd been married for a while. They were literally walking off the beach, and we had this amazing conversation. So I had asked Eric. Let's recount that. That was quite amazing because what we did see was when we showed him the debunk video, he said, wow, you've really got me thinking. But what led us to that was this. So, yeah, so they come up on the beach, they're smiling, they're walking towards, they look very relaxed. They look like they were on spring break and actually they were there. Snowbirds are down here, they're, they're retired. He's a former firefighter, was part of 9-11, dragged a lot of bodies, a lot of his friends out of uh, the, 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 the rubble there. I think he said he went to like 90 funerals in, you know, uh, like the first month and just saw a lot of, he's, he touched evil firsthand, touched suf suffering uh, firsthand and, and lots of it in a short amount of time. But so, as Bill just said, his wife is raised Jewish, he was raised Catholic. He said that he abandoned his Catholic faith and his, really his Christian faith for the most part when he was around 40 years old. His father had passed away. Uh, from a disease. He didn't specify what it was, but it was obviously his dad went through a rough time and died. And, and he said that really shook his faith, and it, knowing that why would a loving God allow this to happen to such a good man? Yet, as we talked, and, and, I, and the way we approached him was, I asked him, hey, we're, we're doing some interviews here. We're, we're asking people what they think about origin, destiny, meaning, morality. And I gave him a choice. Which one do you want to talk about? And he says, well, I want to, yeah, I want to talk about evil and suffering. And that's how he came to tell us that story. And um, it was interesting, he said, because after he told us the things about 9-11 and his father and what drove him away from God, what drove a wedge between him and God, he then said, but I really would like to know if there is a God because as much as that hurt, I would still, it, it's, it's too obvious to me that there really is a God. So I'd, I'd kind of like to know which, which religion is he represented in. I, don't, I just don't know. And so we invite him over to the, to the debunked bus to take a look at a video, the evil and suffering video, I think just came out, what, a day before? And um, we showed that, oh, I don't think it was out yet, I think it was a pre-release maybe, and we showed it to him. And, uh, and after the video, he says, wow, you really got me thinking. And Bill said something to the effect of, has this shifted your opinion at all about, you know, your view on God? And he goes, it really has, I got a lot to think about now. And so this was a guy that, you know, I think it, it, it started off our conversation with them was, we were just normal people on the beach talking. Hey, what are you doing? What you, what you guys up to? And got to know each other a little bit first. And then we had a, a conversation that wasn't, they weren't being defensive. I wasn't being aggressive. We weren't being aggressive. We just had a real conversation about things that matter uh, with real people. And it went how you think it would normally go. That's kind of how they normally go. And I was raised, same thing, I was raised Catholic. And, I, and my whole family, I'm from Chicago. I call ourselves the, the fighting Catholic atheists. We were all raised Catholic, yet coming out of church from a, you know, we go to Easter, Christmas, um, uh, baptisms and funerals and, you know, weddings. But other than that, we don't go to church and, you know, we use God's name as a curse word instead of in reverence. And so that was kind of the Catholic upbringing that this gentleman described, his relationship with God and the church. Yet there was really no relationship there with him at, at that point in his life. But now we give him some things to think about. It was really a great conversation and I would love to be able to follow up with him. He, they ended up signing our, our table in the debunked bus and uh, we'll pray for them. We'll keep them as we take our tables and put them up in the debunked office area there. We'll, we'll pray for these people and, uh, and hopefully have a continuing conversation with them down the road and see where he lands. But I really think it was a good thing. It really, I think the debunked video stretched his, uh, the boundaries of his worldview. And I think more importantly, you know, we're finding out these conversations, there, there's a lot of people out there, they do have some... After they've gone through the paycheck thing and the you know any kind of event in their life, they're now they're starting to consider the things that are important. So um, that's all that we're doing. We're just going out and starting the conversation with the bus, and you can too. So get debunked at 9/11. Yeah, I went down there uh, that night, next morning, early after the bombings, and I spent quite a long time down there going through the piles and looking for people and and. Uh, it just, if you want to see evil, that's that's where evil is. And then, you know, they told us no more people going on a pile, so we went to 90 or 94 or 5 funerals. It was just evil. It was just completely evil. And uh, that's why I said to you before we were talking about that. So. And, when you, and when you see that, how that affects you. Okay. Yeah, I got to go. Right. It affected me tremendously. It took me still think about it mostly every day because of how bad that was. Every day, unbelievable. Every day. So. All right, I'm a Freedom First Responder. I got, I just thank you and got so much respect for you. Last thing I gotta say is adios.